I'm lying in bed, Gab, as yeah. I say. One nil down, I think it's over. Um, wow, well done, Bam. You know, because to go to the Bernabeu and nick it, brilliant. Yes. I just couldn't believe it. I put the TalkSport app on, listened, I went, <laughs> wow. And I had to look. But at the end, Bayern's goal, not given. Now, where do we start with this one? I just think that you don't want people losing their jobs, but definitely the, the um, assistant referee linesman will definitely have a ban. Because so just let people know what happened as the ball goes in. Now that you know what it's like in the Premier, we t- with linesman, fourth officials take the time to put the flag up. And we whinge about it. Yeah, this guy it goes straight up, straight up. Referee blows straight away. The ball hits the back of there, and now they're looking, thinking, oh, "Have we made a rick here?" The only thing I will say is that when the player um, puts the ball in the back of the net, I think it's Rudiger's next to him. Does stop. stop. So maybe you would have got a blocking. So it's not a, a blatant goal that's been disallowed. But you're in a semi-final of the Champions League. So you have the best of the best. The I mean, Dortmund I mean, game, I mean, the I mean, Dortmund so- game, Al. The man, the, the referee was unbelievable. He reminded me of Kalina. It was no nonsense. Didn't have any of it. People diving up. Didn't have anything. I think he's retiring after the Euros. Top top referee. You've got to have the best of the best. This linesman is just like he'll probably never. Be an um, assistant referee linesman will for we, a, a will big we, game again. Will we ever see the 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 evidence? Was it onside? Was it off? I looked, will, I, it, will there be legal action here? Well, it did show it, and like when it when it stopped it, it looked like it was like too close to call. So you would have wanted the lines out. I'm sure the German media will be getting the lines out because you know the rules now. You know, what I mean, don't be so flag happy to get your your flag up, and that could have changed. Obviously, the game would have went to extra time. And if you're buying, you're thinking like. We're in the best competition in the world. You know, we should have the best officials. And um, they've been hard done by. Yeah. Well, Thomas Tuchel, what's he thinking? He wasn't impressed with the decision. I think uh, it's pretty clear and cannot be, in my opinion, any doubt that it's against every rule of uh, modern football, what happened there. The first big mistake is from the linesman. He did it in an in a action in, in the overtime with Alfonso Davis. He did it also. He raised his flag straight away when we switched side to Alfonso Davis. I don't know if it was offside. I got a strange feeling. To raise the flag in a situation like this where you can never, never, never be sure that this is offside. To have the balls, to have the guts to raise the flag in a situation like this is a huge, huge call. And it's a wrong call. The referee has the chance when he sees that we win the second ball and we win the rebound and we get a shot away within five seconds. He has the chance not to whistle. He takes the decision to whistle. It's against every rule. I'm sorry. That would not have happened on the other side. I have to say, I think he's got a point. 100%. I he's mean, got a point, hasn't he's he? fuming now. You know, you, you've lost two late goals and you get the chance to get the ball up, win the first flick on. Like, just relax. Let the, let the game play Imagine on. Imagine that was Fergie or, or Mourinho. Oh. They'd be going ballistic. Oh, I think they'd be chasing the, the officials <laughs> around the pitch. So hard done by, but Thomas Tuchel's got to look at himself a bit, Al. You know, you're you're one nil up against Real Madrid. The game's not done. Even if there's two minutes of any time, let alone, you know, double figures. So taking Sane, Musiala off and Kane was a mistake by Thomas Tuchel. And that's what he'll probably be remembered for. To be fair to the, the equaliser, it did take a funny bounce. Look, I'm Neuer... You've got to do better, but it does bounce up in his chest. Of course, yeah, but when you're talking about one of the best keepers yeah. ever to play um, in the Champions League for Bayern Munich, you've got to do better there. You know, just, that just... It, there's only one winner there now. You know, mm. when you can see that late to Real Madrid. And fair play to Jocelyn, 16 goals oh, this season. And he, and he was playing at Stoke five uh, years ago. That's frightening. England legends... Nothing wrong with Stoke, of course. Of course, uh, great, England great team. England legend Stuart Pearce was on core comms for TalkSport last night. He couldn't believe this decision. We're talking about... It's a semi-final of a Champions League. It's in the loss, literally seconds of it, to equalise, to keep them in the tournament. It's just absolutely incredible the decision that they've decided to make. Week after week, month after month, the officials have been told, let play go, let play go, let it see itself out. It happened instantaneously and they made a decision instantaneously and they cannot believe they did so. And I get frustrated by it when things are clearly offside and they keep their flag down and the game goes on for 30 seconds or so. On this occasion, it was marginal. When it was marginal, the linesman's put his flag up and called an offside. That You know what I don't think was? The referee's blown the whistle as well, so it's ruled the goal out. Mm, 
incredible. Harry Kane was directly involved in 12 goals in the UEFA Champions League this season, the most ever by an Englishman in a single campaign. The Chunk and Jason were back in the sports bar last night taking your calls after the full-time whistle and Logan, the Arsenal fan, gave him a call to discuss the former Tottenham man, Harry Kane. The first point, I, honestly, you're going you're gonna to slate me for, but I'm so glad Bayern are at just because of Harry Kane. I can't stand him. And, and you know you're what's an Arsenal contributing fan. to that? No, no, no. You know what's contributing to that? The amount of people on Talk Sport that are saying how much he deserves to win a trophy and how he should be winning a trophy. Goldstein earlier, honestly, this is, this is probably the, the, the root of my anger today. And, and the reason why I wanted him at cool. the way Goldstein was talking about how he wanted Harry Kane to win because he's because he deserves it and all, and all that sort of stuff. And that he just well, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't deserve it because he does not show up. What's the crime? What's the crime? Is there crime? He doesn't deserve it because he doesn't show up in the big games. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.